up what up you guys it's that show man it's been a long time since i made a youtube video the last youtube video that i made uh, was between march and april of 2008 so it's been a while uh, today is i think it's september 14 2009 so it's been a second it's been like over a year and a half um it's kind of funny when i look back at those videos of of how my music sound back then in comparison to now and it's kind of a, almost a testimony it is a testimony to be able to see how I progress as an artist uh, throughout the years. And even though it's been a year and a half, I have grown and become more wiser about uh, this game. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I know everything, but I, uh, I've i learned some things. So uh, today I'm not going to dem demonstrate or display any of my songs, new songs that I've uh, made. But uh, today is going to be my very first tutorial video. Uh, it's going to uh, discuss uh, on how to utilize your USB condenser mic, um, your audio interface, and your W Audition 3.0. If you have all three and you're having this problem, this this problem of not um, being able to use all three in one session, this is this is the solution. Um, what else am I going to talk about? Oh yeah, before I even open up a W Audition 3.0. Um, I want you guys to go on to um, Google and type in ASIO4, the number four, not F O U R, the number four, all A L L. Google that up, click on the link, and install that software. It's a great software. It's great. Uh, um, it's great. Uh, is I keep on saying great because it is great. Um, uh, it works with FO Studio and it works for Adobe Audition. And this is going to help you. Uh, uh, relinquish that tension that problem that you had with not being able to use your condenser mic with your interface okay so once you uh, have already installed that let's go ahead and open up Adobe Edition 3.0 I also want to apologize if I'm storing my words or I'm coughing um, away from the mic because I'm not feeling so well um, somebody gave me the code so anyways uh, Go to multi-track, click on that. Make sure that this tab is on main. Um, on the bottom right uh, part of the screen, you'll see session properties. Make sure I, and I make sure this, you'll see tempo key monitoring. Make sure this is on audition mix, not external. And if you can't see anything else, I want you to do this, stretch it out and you'll see three more um, properties. I want you to click on from always input to smart input. So click on to smart input. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is going to allow you to be able to hear yourself, hear yourself while um, before and during the time of your recording. Right now, you're not going to be able to hear yourself because you got to do a couple more things before you get to that point. So um, once that's done, cool. So uh, if, if you if you already know how to use ASIO for all and if you already know how to uh, set up your audio hardware from edit, then I'll go ahead and just show you how to um, get on the road. So basically select a track, whatever track you want to, you know, sing, rap, whatever, talk on. Uh, this means input. This means output, mute, solo, record or arm for record, whatever. This means record. Make sure your input is your microphone. If, as you can see, it says not connected one um, because I'm I'm already using my condenser mic, my USB mic microphone on a different software right now. So it's not connected to ASIO because I'm already using it for something else. Um, but my Camtasia, which is allowing me to record all of this, you know, and also my my uh, vocals. So once that's connected, uh, it should be it should say audio USB audio codec. If not, then um, whatever it may be, as long as, it, as as long as it doesn't mention about um, your um, your audio interface, it should be your USB mic. One more thing that I want to say, and I should have told you before opening this up, opening this up, make sure that you connect your uh, your USB microphone. Also, make sure that you have your uh, uh, interface audio interface on because you can't turn it on during uh, during the time this this program you know has been um, open you have to do it prior so just make sure you do that um, 
So after that, after you uh, select it, a USB audio codec or whatever it may be, uh, click on the record. It's going to force you to uh, save us this session only one time and then type of whatever. And then cool, you'll start to hear audio feedback if you know how to set up your audio hardware. So if not, let's go ahead and go over to edit, scroll down to or slide down to audio hardware setup make sure uh, under your multi-track view your as your audio driver is your asio for all click right here is control panel click that as you can see um, i have my primary sound card right below it my uh, usb audio interface and right below it uh, you can see my uh, usb condenser condenser mic my microphone is a condenser mic. The model is the MXL USB.006. There's probably newer models, better models. There is better models than this, but this is what I'm I'm working with right now. As you can see right here, um, uh, my output is off, but my input is on. This X means that it's unavailable because I'm using it on something else. I'm using it on my Camtasia. So uh, more likely, if you don't have anything open, if, if any other software is not using your microphone this time this X would not be there and uh, also you want to make sure that you have you are only using uh, the output that you're using make sure that that you have make sure that you uh, make sure that's active whatever output that you're using right now if you're using SPDIF or if you're using analog this means analog um, I'm, I have audio file USB um, audio interface um, my output right now is analog so uh, just make sure that's active make sure the input on the microphone is active make sure the output is idle is off so close that down below you'll see default input uh, make sure your default input is your usb audio codec it doesn't matter if it's mic one mic two i think you can i think you could basically use as many mics as you want i mean or i think it says mic one and the mic two i don't know but more like people are going to be using one microphone. So just click the first one down below it. Uh, you'll see your um, audio interface, the one that you've preset as active uh, through ASIO. Make sure that's the default output input microphone output audio interface. Now under the edit view tab, um, there's the same thing under the, the default input output of the edit view ports input microphone USB audio codec if it says that output as your audio interface surround encoder should be ASIO as an audio driver under the tab of surround encoder um, below that make sure your left right center uh, output ports are um, your audio interface click OK you're straight now if you forgot how to do this click a track that you want to you know rap sing or say something on uh, make sure that your input is going to stereo make sure that uh, you select your USB microphone USB audio codec or whatever it may be um, I think down below the output I never really mess with that I just kept it as master because it already knows that I'm using my um, audio interface I hope this tutorial was uh, great I do apologize for my slower words i'm not feeling so well i hope this tutorial was informative i um, hope you guys have a good morning afternoon and night satchel much love peace